Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Hip Kit Club and I am using the August 2020 kits and um, and a little bit from the from a previous kit as well, which you'll see as we go along. So I've picked out a dark blue um, piece of cardstock as my background and a couple of other papers there. And I've also cut out this um, cut file from the subscriber cut files, which just says good vibes. So what I want to do is sort of do almost an ombre effect on this. Um, and I'm just trying to get the right colour to go with the flowers on that previous paper. So what I do is I mix two together. I mix apricot, which is from a previous kit, and peony, which is from this current August kit. So I'm going to... I've watered that down and I'm going to paint it on at the bottom. Um, and when I do that, I sort of realise that it's not as vibrant as I would like it to be. Um, I have put some gesso on this paper, just so that you know. Um, I put that on while it was still on the mat. So that's why it's not all falling apart at this at this stage. So because that wasn't vibrant, vibrant enough, what I did was I just literally padded on the orange and then padded on the peony and then just added a bit of water and and sort of mix it around so that it would look like a watercolour effect even though it was just stamped straight on and I can do that because of the gesso if I didn't have the gesso I would not be able to do that so um, I did that and then I pulled out this um, frosting colour from last the last kit that we had as well with these stamps in the Prima Colour Philosophy and um, put some pink on there as well so that because there's some pink in those flowers so now I've got pink orange and then a mix of the peony and apricot at the bottom so I just dry that up um, I do actually go back and change that pink a little bit because um, it's not quite right once I bring it back to my layout but you'll see that in a second so I'm just drying that off with my heat tool that um, makes it go a bit faster and then I realize I've got that mat below I should be careful how much heat I'm putting there <laughs> so I've put a bit more pink on here um, for now just to make it a bit more vibrant but um, as I said I do change that up a little bit in a moment so okay so back to the layout and um, yeah I really like this dark blue background with the color with those colours on top, it really makes them pop. Um, power of video, I had already cut those flowers out before I started, but I just show you the paper that it that they've come from just so that you can see it. Um, I knew that I would have to stop filming while I did it, so I just did it before I started the filming, which is um which was easier. So I'm gonna use this stripy paper down one side, and then I'm gonna put the arrange the flowers sort of down the center and the good vibes is going to go in the middle with my photo to the left so it's similar to what you're seeing there and I'm just laying it out to see that I'm happy with that so this is where I decide that the pink is wrong it's too pinky pink so I grab out the peony color again which is sort of a, a reddish color and I put some of that on top of the pink and then just watercolor it in um, that's a slightly closer pink to what I'm looking for so I'm much happier with how that that turns out and there I am having a bit of a puzzle with how the um, ink pads go together they're magnetic so they tend to clip together and it's easy to have pull off the wrong bit if you see what I mean <laughs> okay so be, do be sure to check out the subscriber cut files um, on the store if you're a subscriber. They're all free and um, there's some fantastic ones each month, usually designed by Kim, um, Kim Watson. And um, yeah, I really love when we get nice big words like this. They really dominate the page and make the rest of the page come together so easily from that. And all these papers in this month's kit are exclusive. So every paper that you see has been also designed by HipKit. And um, yeah, it's fantastic having a unique kit that no one else has. It's really, really nice. So here we go. So assembling again, I just sped this up super speedy because you've seen me do this before. <laughs> so I'm just sort of seeing how it's gonna look all put together. And um, yeah, I like it. I like the contrast with the really dark blue and these oranges and pinks and blues on there. 
um, just makes the, those flowers really, really pop off the page. And the, the blue and white stripy paper I thought was quite cute because my, um, my shirt that I'm wearing in the picture is blue and white striped, horizontal stripes, so it sort of lent itself quite well. So right here I'm putting foam on the back of this cut file. I cut through that so that you didn't have to watch the whole process, but it's all different colours of sticky back foam. It looks a complete mess on the back, but that doesn't matter. And um, I just wanted to pop that up off the page for some added texture on the page. So this is where I'm going to stick things down. So I'm going to start with this piece of paper at the side, the stripy paper. I have a little bit of a fight with my ATG gun, but it's working okay in the end. I always seem to have a fight with it. Every time I do a video, there's a slight fight with it first. But um, yeah, it's all fun and games. So here we go. So I'm just going to start to assemble it again for the last time, I promise. <laughs> And I'm, I'm really happy with how that Good Vibes just fits there on that line of the black and white, uh, sorry, the blue and white, um, with most of it on the blue and just that V there on the stripy paper. I just think it looks really nice um, and works well. The, it just makes those colours pop out, as I said before. And you can see now that pink is much better shade on there than it was before. It was just too girly pink before. Now it's a nice, proper pink pink I've no idea what I'm talking about that doesn't make any sense now I'm listening back to myself but you know <laughs> it's Vicky speak I guess so here we go um that that's pretty much how it's going to look and I'm going to start to glue things down now um I'm going to glue them down in situ because if I move them again it won't look the same and I'm happy with how that looks so here we go starting to glue I can take off the title because I know exactly where that's going to go and I can get that back on there again. So just putting down the leaves. What I want to do is cover anywhere where the um, where there's an overlap, although I do miss a little bit at the bottom, but I wanted to cover mostly where the overlap was. So, you could, so it's sort of a seamless um, link between the, the flowers and then the blue on one side and the striped on the other side. So I'm going to pop a couple of those flowers up, just for a bit of extra texture there, a bit of extra dimension. Um, so I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to stick down... Oh, I think about putting backing the photo with a po pocket life card, but in the end, I don't want to add more colours to it, so I just pull out some tissue paper from my stash. There's a cup of tea my husband's bought me, thank you. <laughs> um, I just want to, I pull out some tissue paper, as I said, and I just do that. My scissors, for some reason, I don't know why, they do not cut tissue paper well. That was a complete mess at the sides, but I don't mind because it just adds a little bit of rough texture. But um, I need to find scissors that are better for cutting tissue paper. Those are definitely not the ones to use. Um, although they're fantastic at cutting regular paper. I don't know. I, I don't know what the reason is. There's probably a technical reason, but um, I don't know what it is. So that's um, <laughs> that's how that's going to look. I'm just going to stick down those flowers there, and they're going to go flat except for the little pink one on top, which... Um, oh, no, the little pink one on top does go flat as well. Um, I do pop some more up in a second, I think. I'm going to stick down my photo. That's going to go in there. Um, I have a little bit of a fight with that as well because I want to move it down and then the tissue paper gets caught up, but, um, but we're all good with that. And now I'm going to stick down my title. So I'm using Scotch Tacky Glue, which um, sticks really nicely. And because it's in a fine liner bottle, I can direct it onto here pretty easily, even the really thin bits. It's getting a bit empty, so I have to squeeze it, squeeze it. <laughs> so sticking that down. There we go. I'm really happy with how that, how that looks. So I've just put some um, baby wipes on top of it to hold it down. <laughs> And um, I think I'm just going to stick an extra flower just there. That's the one I do pop up. I think that that just, it needed a little something just there. 
And off camera, I do also add some um, little uh, enamel dots, um, but you don't see that. And there's the final layout. I hope it gives you some inspiration for the cut files and for using the mixed media uh, color kits. Um, there are some close ups coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this has been Vicky for Hip Kit Club. Bye bye.